Oscar, and the Eight Blessings. Oscar's mother and father believed in the power of blessings. So did Oscar. Until the night of broken glass. His parents put him on a ship to America. He had nothing but an address and a photo of a woman he didn't know. It's your Aunt Esther. And his father's last words to him, Oscar. Even in bad times, people can be good. You have to look for the blessings. Oscar arrived in New York on the seventh day of Hanukkah. It was also Christmas Eve. He knew his Aunt Esther would be lighting the menorah at sunset. To reach her before the sun went down, Oscar would have to walk over a hundred blocks on the avenue called Broadway. The city was terribly big. Oscar was terribly small. And Broadway stretched before him like a river. Oscar was already tired, hungry, and cold. His father's last words to him felt very far away. After a few blocks, he looked up to see a woman feeding pigeons. She offered him a piece of stale roll so he could feed them too. Oscar wanted to feed the birds, but he was too hungry not to swallow the morsel himself. The woman reached inside her coat and gave him a loaf, small loaf of bread. It was warm and fresh. It gave him the strength to keep walking. He saw a newsstand full of comics. One showed a strong man in a cape doing amazing things. He stopped bullets. He stopped trains. The newsstand man held out his hand. Oscar didn't have any money. So he gave back the comic book. The man called to him. Keep it, kid. Merry Christmas. Oscar clutched his gift, his Superman, and he heard his father's words. You have to look for the blessings. Oscar kept walking. He stopped when he heard music coming from a little alley where a big man was humming a jazzy tune. The man whisk whistled to Oscar. Oscar whistled back. They made a tune as fast and light as the snowflakes falling around him. It was Oscar's first conversation in America. At the corner of the park, the boys were having a snowball fight. One boy slipped. Oscar leaped and caught him, just as the Superman would have done. The boy was laughing. That made Oscar laugh. But when he looked at Oscar's cold hands, he stopped laughing. He took off his mittens. Oscar put them on and felt the boy's warmth. He had something to give the boy, too. A few blocks later, a tall lady in a big coat walked out of a building. A policeman shouted, Stand aside! Oscar stopped short. Oh, Thomas, it's just a child, the lady said to the policeman. Let him pass, she winked at Oscar. The policeman moved out of Oscar's path. Yes, Miss Roosevelt. Miss Roosevelt? The sun was setting, and Oscar began to run. He had to get to Aunt Esther's before she lit the shamash. Running, he stumbled and fell. A hand reached down and pulled him back up. Back up on your feet, son. His father was right. People can be good. He turned the corner and ran down the street looking for her house. He ran past a woman 
humming and a goodle. Suddenly, he heard a name. Benjamin? It wasn't his name. It was his father's, and it washed over him. She had a dimpled smile just like his. That's Papa, he said. I'm Oscar, whispered Aunt Esther.